All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to London DevOps. Hey! <laughs> Funding circle, fantastic. It's our first time in this venue. Um, I think some of you have been to this venue before though, right? Dom, yeah. Dom knows the ropes. Um, so yeah, thank you to Funding Circle for having us. Um, so um, yeah, it's our first one after the summer break. Um, do everyone want to have a good summer? Yeah. yeah. Been off on the beach, sat in, a, sat in a cave coding. Yeah, I thought so. Um, so yeah, um, first one back after the break. So um, we'll be back pretty much every month now through till um, through to June and July, hopefully running monthly. Um, so who's not been to London DevOps before? Quite a few people, okay. So, um, so we'll go through, apologies to some of the long-standing um, people. Um, we'll go through the same slides that we usually go through, just an introduction of what we're doing here, ground rules, that sort of thing. Um, so DevOps, um, it's kind of that maybe. Um, if that's anyone's reality, of their life in DevOps right now, then I feel very sorry for you because that's a lot of tools. Um, <laughs> we talk a lot about DevOps tools at London DevOps, um, how to implement them, how to get the best out of them, um, but it's not necessarily the, um, the whole reason we're here. Um, we like to discuss things that involve making things work culturally. Um, if you take a load of engineers and slap a load of tools in, then you're not going to uh, actually modernize the way that your company works. You're not going to get anything done better. Um, so we talk about culture, uh, and we talk about a culture where people, regardless of title or background, can work together to imagine, develop, deploy, and operate a system. So that whole kind of life cycle is kind of what, what, what I mean when I stand up on, on a plinth and talk about DevOps. Um, thanks to Ken McGregor from ThoughtWorks, I like that quote a lot. Um, so yeah, it comes down to people, process, and technology. Um, and again, we'll hopefully have conversations around all three of those things tonight. So the meetup itself is here fundamentally to share knowledge and we have speakers who are here who are giving up their time um, to talk us through their journeys, the things that they've done, um, what was good, what was bad. Um, and so it's a knowledge sharing platform. Anything you hear here um, is quotable unless somebody says otherwise, um, but we're hoping there won't be too much of that. Um, and I've definitely had too much to eat over the summer because I'm making the boards creak. Um, but yeah, talk to people, talk to people you've not spoken to before. Um, it can be, um, you get certain personalities who come to meetups who aren't necessarily you know, vocal, down the pub kind of people. Um, there are new people here today, who, some of whom might not actually speak to anybody else. Um, and that's because they want to, or maybe it's because they don't. Um, so yeah, talk to, talk to people, uh, meet some new people, help each other out. Um, and I've already covered the last point. There's the code of conduct. Um, I'm talking to a, mostly a room of white males, which being a white male um, conflicts me, but actually disappoints me. Um, we, we do have a diversity problem in our industry. Um, and there is often the possibility for these sort of things to, to manifest themselves in ways that we don't want. So there's the code of conduct. It's serious. Um, I'll just leave that up on the screen for a minute for everyone to read. There'll be a quiz on that later. <laughs> so, oh, sorry, every time I go and trivialise the, the code of conduct, it's a serious code of conduct. Um, no more jokes. These are the organisers of the group. Uh, Mark and I have been running the group for, oh my God, a long time now. Um, we, must be, we must be about our fifth anniversary with this now, right? Yeah. Sixth. Holy. Yeah, well, there you go. A long time. Um, and we're still not updating our profile pictures because it makes us look uh, nice and young. Um, so if you've got any comments about the meetup, if you want to speak, if, um, if you think we're doing things well, then yes, we'd love to hear that. If you think we're doing things badly, then we don't quite like to hear that quite as much, but we still want to hear that. Uh, Jack and Alex have excuses for not being here. Um, Jack's hobbling around, sadly, uh, having uh, sprained his ankle, um, and Alex is snowed under with stuff. But th these are all the people who um, organise the meet, uh, meet up and, 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 uh, and help us out with it. Um, so yeah, come and talk to us. Send out some tweets, let's get the social going. I know there are a few people in the room who are really, really good at this. Oh, he's not even looking right now. Um, so please send some tweets. Don't just rely on Fernando and Dom to tweet everything out, please. Um, we like to get a bit of buzz going, a bit of conversation that will outlast the meetup. So please do that. So we're here very graciously thanks to um, Funding Circle who have offered up their, their premises um, and um, put on uh, food and drink for us as well. And Anand is going to say a few words. Yeah, I'll uh, keep it quick. 
Welcome. No Is that it? Um, <laughs> so, look, welcome to Funding Circle. Um, you know, we started our DevOps journey quite some time ago, and um, you know, we, we started building out platforms and uh, you know, started building out our organization. And we've rapidly grown since IPO over the last year. Um, so, look, you know, enjoy some of the speeches here, so enjoy some of the you know, beer and pizza that we've got, and um, we're hiring. <laughs> cool. Thank you, Anand. He's already had his round of applause, so I'm not going to invite you to give him another one. Oh, go on. Well done, Anand. <laughs> Steady on, it's going to his head now. Okay, so um, yes, you couldn't be here without Prism. Um, Alex Dover heads up Prism. Did anybody else from Prism make it tonight? Oh, that's a shame. That's sad. But they do recruitment in, um, um, in our space, um, so... If you want to talk to someone about that sort of thing, then um, I can give you contact details later if you want them. Um, we're also sponsored by Adaptivist, and that's who I work for. Um, we have a natty line in ripping off other people's t-shirts. Um, we do Alassian stack stuff um, and digital transformation type stuff around that. Um, we've got a couple of people here from Adaptivist if you want to hear more about that, rather than just from the guy with the, the loudest voice because he's got the microphone. Um, who's here from Adaptivist? Yeah, reluctant sheepish hands put up. So Sam here and Dan um, here from Adaptivist. So if you want to get the inside story on what I'm really like to work with, then um, please don't ask them. Um, also Shape. Um, so this is um, the company Jack works for. Um, they're also shaping people's digital journey. Um, and he's not here, so I don't have to say much about that tonight. Um, O'Reilly help us out. Um, we get books and um, goodies from O'Reilly. Um, every now and again, which we hand out at meetups. Sadly, not this one, sorry, no swag. Um, but thank you very much to them. Um, coming up soon, um, we got um, on the 11th, uh, this is other, other meetups that are going on. Um, we're aware, you know, there's a, there's a vibrant meetup community in London and thereabouts. So we'd like to say what's good things that are going on. Uh, so Michael Mann, Steph Secops, um, London Gathering is going on, on the 11th um, over at Mintel. Anyone from Leeds? Anyone come down for the day? Anyone come down from anywhere other than London? Yay, cool, a few, excellent. So um, if anyone happens to be in Leeds, then go to Leeds DevOps. That's run by Andy Burgeon, who's um, a fantastic guy, and he'll be putting on a really good show for that. Um, Docker London, um, how many times did you want to come up and speak tonight, Dom? Zero, one, or two? Just once is fine. Just once is fine. Do you want to do Meetup Mates, or do you want to do this one? Meetup Mates. Meetup Mates, OK, cool. So uh, Dominique hosts Docker London, that's um, on the 19th. Um, I think um, you've got a speaker who's in the room here, haven't you? This guy here? Yes. Yeah, Mr. Cluett is speaking um, at Dom's meetup next week on um, C groups, I think, right? Yeah, so that should be cool. Um, then Cloud Native on the 1st of October, um, Cheryl's meetup um, over at Skills Matter. Uh, again, a, another really good one, runs on a regular basis. Um, WinOps is happening. That's a conference all about doing DevOps on Windows stack. Um, fourth year for that now, I think. Unfortunately, I don't have Alex to nod at me um, for this one, but that's, um, that's coming up very, very soon now, um, 23rd, 24th of, of September. Um, and also, if you want to make it a conference week, then go to DevOps Days London. Um, Dominique, I gave you the option of, do you want to speak zero, one, or two times, but it should have been three, because Dom's also involved in, in organizing that. Um, so yeah, great events, um, September 26th and 27th. Um, and now I am going to hand over to Dom, who's going to tell us a little bit yeah. about Meetup Mates. <laughs> you don't have to apply, this is fine. <laughs> right, so, uh, I'm Dom. Um, I run a little thing called Meetup Mates. Who here is part of Meetup Mates already? Could you give us a shout? Or hey. Basically, Meetup Mates, in short, is a community run on Slack for people who do not have anyone to go to meetups with. Oh, it happens. Like when I went to, to my first meetup like years ago, when I just moved in, it, it was yeah, I think it was a few years ago. It was all a bit overwhelming, and I don't have any issues talking to people, so I thought this is my way of trying to get back to the community. Just making sure everybody feels comfortable and safe and that the meetup experience is as fun as it can be for everybody. On a side note, me and one of my colleagues are doing a talk about this at DevOps Days. <laughs> I mean, the community is a small thing, right? Anyway, if you want to know more about this, um, go to the website, there's a little video, and we'll be tweeting 
So yeah, hopefully see you soon. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. Thanks, Tom. Okay, so um, yes, so uh, we're recording um, tonight. We're actually recording twice. We've doubled up. Uh, how about that for some resilience? Um, multiple subnets, multiple AZs, fantastic. Um, so there's a big back catalogue of um, pretty much every talk that's ever happened at London DevOps there on our YouTube channel. Um, so if you see something that you like the look of in one of the talks, you want to go and replay it, find out some more, or go up and you know, see some of this other stuff, um, then go and look it up. So onto the talks. Um, we're going to start off with, um, with Panos, who's here from Funding Circle. He's going to talk about um, a modern multi-dimensional scaling story. Um, sounds great, looking forward to that a lot. And we're going to follow that with uh, Lewis from Outvia. Where are you, Lewis? He's over there with his crew. So they're going to talk about application delivery in a kind of active world. Yeah, great picture. So, yeah, so, so sometimes I don't meet people before the actual event. So I'm like going around looking around the room. Like, can I see the, the person who's in this picture? And I'm like, you don't look like your photo. Um, and then we're going to finish with, um, with David. Where are you, David? David here, who's going to talk about open source engineering. Um, right, so I shall now shut up in, in a minute. Um, you probably saw me editing the slides last minute. Um, pub will go to afterwards, after we've wrapped here, um, is the sugar loaf, which I'm, I'm, I'm told, I'm sure you, like, you can guess by who, that it's literally around the corner. So follow the crowd if you want to come for a, a, a drink afterwards. I'll have to find some recruiters to pay. Um, yeah, that's it for the intros now. I'll shut up, get off the stage. Um, and hand over to Panos, so um, we'll get the show on the road. Thanks very much. <laughs>